submission. Um, not something that we like to talk about in Western America. It's not something that we're used to. Submission is something that we don't even want to hear taught or talked about. Because submission is not something we do in America very easily. We are autonomous. We are people who like to set our own rules. We are people who enjoy our freedom. And so when we talk about subjection or submission uh, to authority, uh, to laws, rules, it grates against our, our, our American personalities. So submission, uh, why? Why do we need submission? Uh, let me just give you a couple of reasons why we need submission. You look at the laws of our land and without submission to authority, we would have chaos. And so chaos results because of a lack of law or a lack of authority, um, lines of authority. For instance, speeding, um, driving our vehicles on a street, uh, signs, um, directions. Without those, anybody would do what they would want, when they would want, taking a right turn where they shouldn't take a right turn, uh, running 70, 80 miles an hour through a neighborhood. And so we start with basic laws that are given to us by man simply for um, protection, simply to bring peace and order and uh, not necessarily just conformity, but uh, safety. So um, we have submission to authority because of the chaos that we have in culture and it brings safety. So in our presentation today in Stephen's group, we are dealing with this um, idea of submission and I want to finish. We've talked, I talked a little bit about my opening comments on submission and then uh, the culture. Let me talk about religion. Listen to Romans chapter 13. Let every soul be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists the ordinance of God, and those who resist will bring judgment on themselves. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but they are a terror to evil. And the point I want to bring out is that we all have to have accountability, spiritual accountability, not just cultural accountability. Cultural accountability brings peace. That's why we have laws. Spiritual accountability can also bring peace in our life and safety in our life because we have somebody that we're afraid of. It's one of my favorite topics to talk about. Let me ask you as a class, as they finish up this presentation in the next few minutes, are you afraid of anyone? Is there someone that you answer to? Because if not, if you live as a as a person who is so autonomous that you and so free that you have no checks and balances in your life, that's a dangerous place to be in.